Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 11.08 a.m., and it's Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing a new flavor of the Coca-Cola with coffee drinks. I got this at my local Walmart yesterday for $1.88, so I guess it's okay priced, but I'm anyway. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Mocha Coca-Cola with coffee coffee drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And so we're top with a red tab. Bombs of Best Buy Dayton Production Code. Best Buy November 25th, 2022. So it's still fresh for a while. It's a little bit hard to see. It's reflective. So I'm sorry about that. It's sunny today. It's actually getting pretty hot and I had to turn on my car's air conditioner in a minute. But yeah, it says mocha. Around the top just says mocha. Coca-Cola with coffee and it shows the coffee beans. Great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee. Coca-Cola with coffee, mocha flavored, with other natural flavors, 70 calories per can, 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters. On the side it says Coca-Cola with coffee, sip and scan, open coke.com on phone, scan icon, enjoy more. Probably takes you to the website, sort of like a QR code. Please recycle Coca-Cola coffee, nutrition facts, certain says one can amount per certain calories, 70. Total fat, 0 grams, 0 percent, sodium, 40 milligrams, 2 percent. The carbohydrates, 18 grams, 7 percent, total sugar is 18 grams. Includes 18 grams, added sugar is 36 percent, protein, 0 grams. Yeah, it was already getting hot. I had to turn on my car's air conditioner for a minute, but I'm um, anyway. Yeah, it says, Canada under the authority of the Coca-Cola Company, Atlanta, Georgia, 30313, by a member of the Coca-Cola Bottlers Association, Atlanta, Georgia, 30327. Scan here for more food information and smart label QR code. Consumer information, call phone numbers 1-800-438-2653, copyright 2021, the Coca-Cola Company. Coke.com has this KU, the ball logo, and some other codes. 12 fluid ounces, and then it has the other ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, coffee powder, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate to protect taste, sucralose, acylfame, potassium, powdered coffee from Brazilian coffee beans, caffeine content, 69 milligrams for 12 foot ounces. So it has almost 70 milligrams caffeine in the entire can, 69 milligrams. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, 69, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. It has like a dotted wavy background pattern. It looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. It's like a burgundy or maroon type of color. It's like a brownish red where it has the mocha on top of it and stuff. Um, so yeah, really cool looking can. It's definitely reflective though. So yeah, but um, anyway, I'll let you see it real quick. Okay, there's SKU and other codes and stuff. And other ingredients. I'll show it off in a minute up close so it won't be reflective. Yeah, I guess you're probably not going to be able to see that too good. reflective so sorry about that okay that's pretty much the entire can so anyway and I'm gonna show it off a close right quick so hold on a minute
Okay, I shut off the can and I'm gonna shake it up a teeny bit. Then I'm gonna open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it. And yep, it's like the color of the old ones that I reviewed last year. It's like a dark brown color. Inside the can it was a little bit like a golden brown. Just built some on my shirt. But yeah, when I opened it, it was like a little bit um, frothy inside it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, it was a little bit frothy inside it. Definitely bubbly, a little bit carbonated. But yeah, it's like a dark brown golden color. So yeah, but I'm anyway, the scent. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 well. Well. Definitely a very strong, pungent scent. Definitely stronger than the other Coca-Cola with coffee drinks. This one has a little bit more of a dark mocha type of scent. Very strong, a little bit bitter mocha. Um, yeah, very strong scent. Definitely doesn't smell as sweet as like the vanilla one. Or like, yeah, the zero sugar vanilla one. Um, this one's definitely a more stronger, um, pungent scent. Definitely a very strong, a little bit like a, um, almost like a, um, hmm, a little bit like a um, cappuccino type of scent, or like a latte type of scent. Definitely a stronger coffee scent than the other Coca-Cola coffee drinks. Um, but yeah, it definitely smells mocha though. I can smell the chocolate and the coffee. Um, but also get the Coca-Cola scent, so yeah, it's definitely Coke with coffee, you know? So yeah, it's definitely a mixture of the, you know, type of flavors, you know, or scents. But yeah, it smells pretty good, but I'm anyway now I'm going to try it, so here goes. Well, ooh, whoa. A little bit strong carbonation. Got a little bit of a chest pain, you know, but, um, um, tasted a little bit creamy when I drink it, though. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the froth or whatever, but yeah, it has a little bit of like a creamy texture, but smooth. The cola part's sweet, but um, the mocha part, definitely pretty strong, definitely dark, and definitely um, rich, powerful type of mocha flavor. This would be a good breakfast drink, you know, probably go good with like pancakes or waffles or donuts or french toast. You know, it's a good breakfast drink, a good way to start your day because it'll give you a little bit of an energy boost too. It has 69 milligrams of caffeine. Um, but yeah, the Coca-Cola part definitely tastes pretty good. And then the mocha coffee flavor, definitely pretty strong. So it's like a interesting mix of flavors. It's sweet, but also strong and a little bit bitter though. So you know what I mean? But yeah, it's actually very interesting though, but um... I like it, but um, it's not my favorite one of these Coca-Cola coffee drinks. I think I like the dark blend one best, or the, I mean, the zero sugar dark blend. This one's still pretty good, though. Um, yeah, but the mocha reminds me a little bit like a um, mocha chapstick that I used to have. A little bit more of a, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, it's definitely like a strong mocha flavor, but it's like not as sweet as like the Starbucks mocha, like flavored drinks, you know? It's not as sweet as those. Um, this is definitely more of a stronger, um, yeah, mocha. A little bit bitter, though. Can't describe it too much, but, um... But, yeah, I still think it's okay, but, um... It's actually pretty good, but, um... Yeah, not my favorite one of these, though, but, yeah, it's still pretty good, though. Um, it was $1.88, so it's okay price to guard at Walmart. It's brand new. Definitely be on the lookout for these, um, but make sure, you know, it says mocha at the top, you know? Because on um, these cans are a little bit hard to tell, you know, because they're basically the same colors with the red and the brown and stuff. So, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Um, it has a smooth texture, a little bit carbonated. Um, um, but yeah, the mocha part. Yeah, if it was sweeter, it'd definitely be um, better, but, um, still okay though. So, yeah, um, I actually do like it. Probably say energy wise. I can't remember what I said in my last reviews, but um, I think I said it lasted about maybe um, 30 minutes to about an hour and a half of energy at the most. So, oh yeah, boys, it'll still get you lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely try it. It's tasty. Um, 
but yeah, it could be, um, I wish it was a little bit sweeter though, um, the mocha part anyway, the Coca-Cola part's pretty sweet, but, um, yeah, the mocha part's not that sweet, um, wish it was sweeter, but, um, yeah, it's still okay though, good interesting mix of flavors, so yeah, I'm gonna give the new mocha cola, uh, sorry I stuttered and messed up talking, I'm gonna give the new mocha Coca-Cola with coffee coffee drink, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, so, oh yeah, boys, it's still lit, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10, oh yeah, Definitely try to even find it. it's brand new. It's pretty tasty. It's sweet, but um, also bitter at the same time. Um, but yeah, good mix of flavors though. It's still pretty good. A good way to start your day too. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. So oh yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Oh yeah, definitely try it. It's actually pretty good. Anyway, there are more reviews, some more videos. Since you're watching, so guys later. Peace out and bye.